Hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. So Nerf pistols have evolved a whole lot over the years, from just single shot nuggets that did what they were supposed to do, to things like the Maverick, which actually shot six darts and had a very interesting innovative revolver mechanism, to terrible four shot smart AR blasters with a T-pole that have been copy and pasted so many times I feel like my eyes are gonna bleed if I see another one, dear heavens, please make it stop. But every now and then, Nerf pulls something completely out of left field that shocks the entire audience and surprises everyone in the Nerf community. I don't think there's a better obvious example than the Fortnite six shooter. What do I mean by that? Well, let's find out. <laughs> So in a day and age when the world is run by terrible four-shot smart AR blasters, Nerf randomly releases this, a six-round revolver hammer action blaster. Nothing that we've seen before and done in a completely original way. And that really surprised me and it surprised a whole lot of other people because I don't think anyone was truly expecting something like this to exist or especially come out by Hasbro themselves. And yet this thing exists. Here it is in all of its glory. Let's start out with the design. As a Fortnite blaster, I have to say that talking about the design is very weird because I can't really judge it the same way that I judge other blasters do. This blaster is based on a completely original source material that wasn't created by Hasbro themselves. So I feel like the best way to talk about design isn't to compare it to other nerf blasters, but to compare it to how faithful it is at recreating the original source material. And this blaster looks absolutely ridiculous. It looks like Yosemite Sam's pistol from Looney Tunes. There's really no way around it. This blaster looks absolutely hilarious, but at the same time, it does really capture the sort of wheel gun aesthetic, just vaguely, very, very, very exaggeratingly stretched. Even though this front barrel thing is actually really light and you can easily whip this thing around. Kind of a big deal when you're talking about a sidearm that is as big as a primary. Being Nerf, of course, it has camo wraps on it. This one, I don't remember what it's called, but it looks like a creamsicle ice cream cone with sort of blueberry chunks in it, which is a really interesting design, a very weird one, but eh, it works. It's a design. It works all right. I think that the shaping of the shell is really nice. I think that it looks very cool, even though it is very simplistic being a Fortnite blaster, as well as not trying to directly imitate any particular real life firearm. <laughs> I think they uh, got that covered when they created the proportions for this thing, but I'm getting a little ahead of my Myself. Let's continue to the ergonomics. This blaster has only one main grip and it is absolutely horrible and I'm going to explain why in a second but we got to talk about the actual grip itself. It's actually very comfortable. It looks good. It's big enough to get your whole hand around no matter what size hand you are. I think anybody with any size hand will be able to hold this blaster just fine. It is rounded. It's filleted. There's nothing that sticks out into your hands. So why do I say the grip sucks? You see these black piece of plastic that they have on either sides? This is made with the absolute worst feeling construction paper-esque paper thin plastic and it feels so unreasonably bad. It feels like it's going to crack just from holding it and you have to be very careful with how you hold the grip to not accidentally break the plastic in half. Even though that's not going to happen, it really feels like it will and this sort of grainy texture that it has on it really doesn't help. It just makes it feel even thinner and even cheaper, especially when the rest of the black blaster actually feels relatively good. It's actually a pretty nice build quality for something released in 2020. But this grip is just awful. I actually don't know if this is 2020 or 2021. It says 2020, but it, that means it was released the next year, so probably 2021. Still, same basic principle. Blaster feels fine. The grip feels way too cheap. It feels very uncomfortable to hold on to this because you feel like you're going to break it. And that's not a good thing. You want to be able to squeeze the blaster just fine without it feeling like it's going to snap. And this is one of very few blasters that do that. I hate it so much. Why do they do that? As for the Hammer Prime, it is the same style as the original Hammer Shot, not the updated design on the Persuader, which for some reason didn't continue after the Persuader, because I think the Persuader Hammer is better than the original Hammer Shot's Hammer. But with all that said, it is the same feeling Hammer, and pulling it down is very smooth. And the trigger pull, as well, is very, very snappy. It doesn't move at all, and then it moves. So basically the same thing as the Hammer Shot. Anyway, let's get on to the functionality. You have a six-start revolving cylinder, even though the cylinder is plenty big enough for you to get a way bigger cylinder in here. Look at all that dead space. I can imagine how big the 3D printed cylinders for this thing are going to be. I haven't seen any yet, but they probably already exist. The good news here is that this actually clicks into place and it clicks nicely into place. It feels good to do that, mainly because you could do this. <laughs> this 
This blaster being able to confirmingly click the cylinder into place every time you rotate it is a vast improvement over the hammer shot. The hammer shot just kind of went when you rotated the cylinder, but there was no real click confirming when the cylinder was in place. I think that's a very good improvement that this blaster introduced. Anyways, how this blaster works is you load up six darts, you pull the hammer down, it rotates to the next cylinder, and then you can fire once. And being a hammer action blaster, it doesn't have slam fire. With that said, onward to the firing test. Here we go. Come on. So what do I think of the Fortnite six shooter? Well, my opinion on this thing is kind of mixed because it is a very nice idea and it's a great idea to bring the hammer shot back with this new design and new mechanism as well as an extra dart. This blaster just costs a little bit too much money. It's $20 and I think most of that price just goes into the fact that they give you this big ridiculous barrel that once put on you can't really take off. You can take it off just by opening the blaster up, but still it should be an end strike at barrel attachment point. Luckily though, people have 3D printed end strike barrel lugs for this thing which is probably what I'm going to do, but I digress. This blaster is a very nice idea, but the grip and trigger just throw it way off. I mean, the trigger is okay, but the grip just feels awful. It feels so cheap. It feels uncomfortable to use this thing because I constantly feel like I'm holding an Alpha Strike blaster just because of the way the grip feels. And that really sucks because everything else about this blaster was done relatively well. And I honestly would recommend picking one up if you don't plan on modding a hammer shot and you just want a big goofy Yosemite Sam style pistol that you can use around like a wheel gun and have a fun hammer action blaster to play with. With all that said, if you want to buy this blaster, I'll link it in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.